A victim of predatory pickup artist Adnan Ahmed today spoke out about her ordeal and says she feels let down by the verdict. Father of one Ahmed, 38, posted videos of himself as Adi a game when approaching women on YouTube without their consent in an attempt to educate men on how to pick up women. Just days before he is due to be sentenced, one victim has bravely spoken out. Read more, YouTube pulls pickup videos from Adi e game after BBC investigation. He was found guilty last month for acting in a threatening and abusive manner causing a reasonable person fear or alarm towards five young and vulnerable women between May 2014 and November 2018. Lily, not her real name, 21, from the south of Glasgow, testified in court against Adnan after he approached her in Glasgow in 2016. Adia Game approached me in Glasgow city centre when I was just 18 years old outside the old Fred Perry shop in Buchanan Galleries. He told me that I was gorgeous and looked like an Italian. He tried to give me his number on a receipt which I refused to take, and I told him I was meeting someone to get him away from me. When he kept walking in my direction, I called my grandmother who stayed on the phone to me for 45 minutes until I felt safe enough to come off. After ending the call, I was on Stockwell Street at Argos and I received a tap on the shoulder only to see it was him. I never even got a chance to say anything before he tried to kiss me. I asked a man and a woman if I could stand beside them, as soon as I looked behind me, he was gone. Read more, Glasgow pickup artist Adi Game faces jail after handing young women. Lily said she was left disappointed by the verdict. She added, I'm absolutely appalled, and I feel let down by the justice system. I did testify in court and he was found guilty of behaving in an abusive and threatening manner towards me, but that was it. Sandy Brindley from Rape Crisis Scotland, said, This is a really significant case and sends an important message that this kind of predatory behaviour isn't just unacceptable and entirely inappropriate, but illegal too. The treatment of women as play pieces in part of a bigger game profiting from their humiliation and degradation is truly repulsive, and it is right that the man responsible faces consequences. Ahmed was remanded in custody and will be sentenced next week. For more on this story, visit the news article link.